welcome back this is now your boy again i'm sling how are you guys doing welcome to another crazy video firstly good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from so to kick start this video i want to ask this question if your girlfriend or your boyfriend is caught in the hotel room with another girl or another guy caught by efcc in the hotel room and then after your girlfriend mom is calling you to help bail out your girlfriend what will you do or your boyfriend mom is calling you to help bail him out what will you do what would be your response please i want you guys to give me an honest response so uh just imagine being a celebrity and uh, not just only being a celebrity whenever you are having issue with your girlfriend, the world we know, and whenever you are not having issue with your girlfriend, the world we also know. So meanwhile, the reason why I'm saying all this is because of David Doe. David Doe just recently started following Choma again, and Choma also started following David Doe again. This one was a sad yesterday for all those people who are keeping close vigilant of uh david and trauma relationship you know they followed each other like few days ago because of rumor that uh trauma is having a new guy in dubai and so on so yesterday they decided to follow each other again on social media just imagine how social media can dictate some people life people know where you're having issue with your girlfriend or your boyfriend and people also know when you guys are okay Come on, remove yourself from that social media so that people won't be able to predict your next move when it comes to relationship or every other uh, aspect of your life. But, you know, David O, Nashayo Master, he loves the social media so much. And uh, I'm just imagining this scenario. Maybe was David Do, is it that David Do was the first person to tell Chama, you know what, well, yeah, follow me on social media back, follow me on Instagram back, or after they reconcile. Or it was uh, Choma that told David Doe, you know what, follow me back to prove that you are finally reconciled with me. To prove that you are no longer dating others, your girlfriend. You know, make me look special. Some girls do that. I also, <laughs> go, I, I also go through a lot when it comes to social media. Uh, in a relationship. Uh, my girl will tell me, oh, you know what. For me to for you to prove that i am with you for me for 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 you for you to prove that i'm the only girl your real girlfriend please follow me on social media you know some girls also do that and uh, guys as well also do it i don't know but uh whatever they are going through i'm so happy for them they have finally worked their differences out it's just a matter of time i don't know what will happen in the nearest future so let's talk about Mr. Easy and Temi, who are currently engaged. So I also pray for them as well. These are the couples who do not like drama. You know, I really looking forward to have that kind of uh, Mr. Easy relationship. No drama at all. They do not like drama. All they like is to be together, go on vacation and take pictures and chill together. So there, here is a Ghana uh, blogger. This is what this Ghanaian guy wrote. He said, when you look at it, it feels Mr. Easy is an opportunist who is probably attached, who will probably attach to Temi or Ted Dollar because of our father's status. Loki, it appears, is not into the girl as much as the girl is into him. Mr. Easy is a musician with many options. Why did he settle on Timmy? <laughs> In case you do not know, having so many options means you have nothing. You know the uh, rules of demand in uh, economics? When there's availability of so many things, the prices will drop. So Mr. Easy, for a long time, Mr. Easy has been so, so loyal to this girl and this girl has been loyal to, so, to Mr. Easy. So I already was expecting them to get married anytime soon. So I'm really, really happy for them. So whoever have any other talk, any other side talk to say, that's up to him though. And this guy also said, well, Ted Ola is a Yoruba and the fourth richest man in Nigeria. His daughter is getting married to Mr. Easy, a reverse guy on Dada. But your father, a proud owner of Kijo 504, 
and a plot of land in Onicha won't allow you to marry the guy you love because he doesn't have no court and he's not from your tribe. I've always said this before. You see this religious tribalism and all, all those things. You know the people who, who live very strong are mostly the poor. Yeah. There's nothing absolutely wrong to marry another girl from another tribe, but you guys make it look like as if it's one big deal if your children do not marry from the tribe or marry from uh, a Christian or, or marry from a Muslim. You know, stop it, man. Stop it, man. But myself, if, even if I have a daughter, at least I still have the right to cross check that guy. If the guy babs air, I will understand why the guy doesn't bath air. As long as Mr. Izzy is doing a lot of things for the community, so the hotel dollar will we just immediately oversee that. Mr. Izzy is a good guy for what I've seen him doing. He doesn't brag, nothing, nothing. He doesn't do all those fancy stuff showing off gold, diamonds, all those cars. No, he's just really, really chill. And uh, talking about marriage, this one is coming from Daddy Freeze. He said, what God cannot do does not exist is a very dangerous teaching simply because there are things God can do but absolutely we never do. It is because of doctrines like these that people say, say and die in bad marriages, thinking God will come and do what, what a simple divorce could fix. Well, he made a lecture about uh, concerning Osinachi's passing, and he also gave references to. He, he gave some a uh, few, and he also picked a verse from uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, for those of you who do not know, first let me read this. Uh, what uh, that the phrase wrote? He said, "Suppose a man marries a woman, but she does not please him, having discovered something wrong with her." He writes a document of divorce, hand it to her, and send her away from the house. When she leaves his house, she is free to marry another man. Korisha chapter 7 to 15 said, sorry, to 15, it said, But if the husband or wife, who is it a believer, is seized on living, let them go. In such cases, the believing husband or wife is no longer bound to the other, for God has called you to live in peace. So the book of Deuteronomy, uh, sorry if, if I'm not pronouncing it right, well, I took the chance to read what that book means, and uh, according to Google, I said the book of Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Torah where it is called Devarim, and the fifth book of Christian Old Testament. Chapter 1 to 30 of the book consists of three uh, sermons or speeches delivered to the Israelites by Moses on the plans of Moab shortly before they enter the Promised Land. Well, and uh, that Quresha, you know, there are some verses in the Bible that said, Thou shalt not divorce. You cannot divorce at all. But there are still other books that actually preach against, like, it's okay for you to divorce, you know? You cannot die, dear, you know? Well, what, what uh, we mean? And when uh, uh, that the priest said, What God does not do does not exist, mm, honestly, I believe, or oh, as a Muslim, I believe there's nothing that will ever go on. And on, on this heart that God will not approve or disapprove. And if God allow it to happen to you, it's because he's testing you, because he said he's going to test man. So I don't believe what what God uh, where according to the word, what 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 God does not approve does not exist. I believe in that word, but uh, that phrase he obviously do not believe in that uh, phrase. Then uh, let's move past that. Let's talk about have you ever been betrayed by a old friend before? Have you ever been betrayed? I have been betrayed before. Let me tell you my own story before reading the next one. When I was in boarding school, I stole my father's money to buy provision. I think I bought five five sets. 
I went to this really local body school, not just this fancy rich body school that you do not need to bring any form of provisions to the hostel. I went to a really local body school and I told my dad, I think about 2000 something as I then, I mean more than 10,000 something. And I bought like five, five set of provisions that will last me the whole, uh, the whole uh, semester without even feeling it. Well, I bought this provision and I handed them over to a very good friend of mine to keep in his house. And when he's coming to school, he should bring them. Guess what? The provision, I do not know how, he was busy eating it though. And the mother discovered the provision. The mother was so hungry and the mother hugged him. Where did you get those things from? And I, are you stealing my money? Instead of the guy to hold fame and uh, forget about it, guess what? This guy told the mom that the provision belongs to me. And they went to our school before even before, even before me coming to the school, they went to our school to report the case to our principal. And when I came to the school, my principal immediately informed my dad. <laughs> the betrayer, I, I felt so, so betrayed, guys. Well, uh, me and the guy, we are still talking to I understand the kind of pressure that it was in. Mm. So this guy said, I was about 18 years old or so when my dad gave me money to get jump form for my siblings. I took my childhood friend along to the jump office, got the card, and we tried registering that evening. Next Network didn't permit us, so we agreed to try again the next day. I go there the next day alone because this time my friend said he wasn't around. On getting to the cyber cafe, I tried and the site said the card has been used by another user. I didn't understand. I went home and told my dad. We then drove to the jam office and they said yes, it has been used. I wonder who used it. After threatening all and all, they agreed to show us the name of who used it. Lo and behold, it was my friend. He copied the pin and went at night to register for himself. My dad shamed me that day for the kind of friends I keep. At that young age, I felt betrayed to the bones. We, se we, we severed the, you know, uh, the relationship and I never had much of him again. Yesterday, I was checking the FCC page on Facebook and, they, and there he was holding the a uh, convict planker. Apparently, he went to school and started fraud. Well, seeing him again felt like justice has been served. I didn't tell any emotions for him. I didn't share any um, emotions for him at all. But all I could muster was every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Well, you job your friends. I do not know why people see... People, people do not take friendship seriously again people do not take friendship seriously again. i believe i would have been so so big than what i am before if i have like four set of friends or two set of friends that are just like me because i i know for for the fact that i do not swingle people i do not swingle as long as you are going to invest in my make sure you have your return i do not lie when it comes to all those kind of stuff but i do not have friends I'm mostly at home. If I do not have friends, I've tested them. I've borrowed their money. They have not paid me back. So I do not have, I, I do not have people I can boldly say they are my friends because of the kind of people they are. So I believe we should, people should take friendship really, really seriously. You understand? Check out the like of uh, Obi Kubana and them. It's because of the click that it has. That's why it's so, so big as, uh, as it is today. And check out that with group and all the rest. Uh, people, you cannot make it alone. Try to create bondage, fair, that bond between friends. Gain trust so that you guys can uplift each other. So as a friend, you just want to swingle you. Borrow me money, you will not see them again. Come on, borrow me money, they won't, you won't see them again. And you, tomorrow will come, you say, oh... Adam Snake refused to help me, or so, 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 someone refused to help me because you are not trustworthy. Well, uh, thank God that guy was arrested, though, and uh, like he said, every day for the thief, one day for the owner. And uh, this guy is calling out his girlfriend for taking his picture to church. The guy said, Please, you people should help me and tell this girl to stop carrying my picture to church 
for pastor to pray for me to marry her because I mistakenly said I will in Easter. I think we all know that when you go to market, not all the goods you prize there, you end up buying. My brother, I agree with you. Not every goods you prize there, you end up buying. But next time, I think you need to think wisely. Think very well before you say, girl, I want to marry you. That word is a big word. Though. So do not go there and be, and be mis misusing guest freedom. Come on, man. And uh, I just want to read this headline coming from the federal government. According to uh, the court, they say NHGSFP coordinator. According to that, is one of our, those parasata uh, attached to the federal government. They said federal government of Nigeria spends about. 12 billion naira monthly on feeding school children. 12 billion naira monthly on feeding school children. And I'm about to clap for you. It really is a good and fine for you. But honestly, do you think feeding school children is our problem? No. No, that's another way of side funding. Please, let us drop that feeding school children. You know what you do? Just declare in, in Nigeria. Free education from primary one, from primary one to primary five. In fact, scrap all those private schools with primary. Make sure every Nigerian student uh, child goes to a public primary school. Scrap them all. No, if as a private, if I'm a president today, this is what I would do, guys. Firstly. I will look into my our educational system like I will scrap every private school will not run a primary school. If you want to run a school, start from GSS 1. All children in Nigeria must go to a public school. There's nothing like private primary schools that should be scrapped. It should be scrapped for primary one to primary five or six should be under the government and it will be free 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 everything free you, 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 you don't need to feed them books free uniform free transportation free books everything free don't give them food let their parents feed them but that is free i think that will be okay. All those 12 billion you are wasting, you know, always. That's just how I see it though. Thank you guys for watching the boy again. Yeah, I'm Slink and uh, definitely gonna see you next time. Don't go anywhere. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.